Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. If Z equals X plus IY and capital Z equals Z minus 2 over Z, prove that if the point P representing little z in the Argan diagram describes the unit circle, then the point Q representing capital Z which equals capital X plus I capital Y describes another circle. Okay, so the first thing it's to not be confused with these capital Z's and little z's. So the little z is just some complex number and the capital Z is just some other complex number. And they're related in this manner. Okay, so what we want to show is that this little z, when it is the unit circle, so it describes unit circle. So when little z describes unit circle, capital Z is also another circle. Okay. So what do we have? We have big Z equals little z minus 2 over little z. Okay, now we want to try and manipulate this to show that we have a, a circle for capital Z. So what information have we been given? Well, we know that Z describes the unit circle. So we can say that Z describes unit circle. Well, what does that mean? We can think of this in two ways. We can think of it as x squared plus y squared equals 1. Or, we can think of it in this way. The modulus of little z is equal 1. Because this here represents the, uh, the unit circle. This here is a way of representing as a locus the unit circle. So now we can use these two facts to help us with our problem. Let's manipulate this so we can simplify it a little bit. If we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of little z divided by the conjugate of little z, this will help us in our manipulation. Now on the top we're going to have z times z bar which is the modulus of z squared minus 2 times the modulus, not the modulus, the conjugate of z. And on the denominator, we're going to have z times z bar again, which again is the modulus of z squared. Okay, now we know that the modulus of z is 1, so the modulus of z squared is going to be 1 squared, which is 1. So we're going to have 1 minus 2. Now what's z bar? Well, if z is x plus iy, as given in the question, then z bar is x minus iy. So we have x minus iy. And then all this divided by 1. Okay. And let's see, what else do we have? Let's move that up. We have that. We can simplify here and collect the real parts. So we have 1 minus 2x as the real part. I'm going to have minus minus 2iy, so it's plus 2iy all over 1, which is what we have. Okay, now, what's this equal to? Well, they told us that z was x plus iy, but it was capital X plus i capital Y, so we can say that, therefore, capital X plus i capital Y is equal to this expression, plus 2iy. Okay, now we can collect, oh, we can equate real and imaginary parts. So, therefore, we can say that x equals 1 minus 2 little x. So, capital X equals 1 minus 2 little x, and capital Y equals 2 little y. Now, let's make little x and little y the subjects of these two equations. We can think of these as parametric equations now for capital Z. So we're going to have, when we rearrange here, we can get 2x equals 1 minus capital X, and so x is 1 minus capital X all over 2. And we have here that y is equal to capital Y over 2. Okay, but if you remember, they told us that Z describes the unit circle, and we thought of it in two ways. One of the ways being little x squared plus little y squared equals 1. So we can say now 
that since x squared plus y squared equals 1, we can substitute in our values for little x and little y into this, and we can get an equation. So we have 1 minus capital X over 2, all squared, plus capital Y over 2 squared equal to 1. Now we can simplify a little bit. Over 2 squared, which is 4, plus y squared over 2 squared, which is 4, equals 1. And so therefore, we have x minus 1 squared. We can rearrange this. This is not changing anything. Plus y squared. And multiplying up by 4 will give us 4. And so therefore, capital Z, which equals x, capital X plus I, capital Y, describes a circle with center at 1 comma 0 or 1 plus 0 I in terms of a complex number and radius of 2 okay and that's the final answer we've shown that if little z describes a unit circle and capital Z describes another circle. Thanks for watching.